Welcome back to this Python series on the Django Web Framework and in this one we're taking a look at how to reset the password and we're assuming that you don't have access to the old password so the most likely scenario is that you've forgotten the password and you need to reset it and we'll do that by sending an email to their email address that's registered to that account with a token that is then going to be sent back to us so that we know that it's them that's trying to access their account and then we'll reset their password for them uh, using that email, their email and their account and the token uh, associated with that rather than their old password. So let's get started. Um, this is a two part series because there's four views that we need to implement and I'm going to do two in this video and two in the next video. So I'm going to import to start with the views that we're going to start with and that's called password reset and password reset done. So these two views do the first half of the password reset. So it gets it to the point where the user receives the email with a link in it for them to be able to then click on and reset their email. So the password reset view is going to be used to render that initial form on a page and they can enter their email into that's associated with their account and then we're going to send that email address uh, an email and that's all we're going to do for this half and then we'll do the next half which is actually uh, getting the user to reset a new password in the next video. So that is going to send the email and then they'll also be redirected to the password reset done page which is just a page that's going to say uh, check your email to continue to reset your password uh, so that's a fairly simple view. Uh, the main part is going to be in the password reset where it actually sends that email. But that functionality is actually already built into Django. So we don't really have to do too much other than add the URLs that we need to do to do that. So I'm going to add the URL for the first view here. And I'm just going to say, so the regular expression starts with, and then it's going to be reset password and then it's going to finish just like that and then it's going to be a uh, password reset because remember we've imported it explicitly here so we don't have to say views dot or anything like that so i'm going to give this a name as well and i'm going to say this is equal to uh, reset password so if we go to that url now I'm going to, so I've got my development server running, it's just refreshed here, and I'm going to go to forward slash account forward slash reset password. And so now we get this error, which is coming from the account forward slash pass forward slash reset password view, and this basically means that it's trying to request another URL, the password reset done URL uh, but that doesn't exist yet so that is this that is the other part that we've imported here and password reset done this is actually important because this is going to correspond with the name that we're going to put on that URL which happens to be the name of the view as well which sort of makes sense so before we define that URL for to make that work completely uh, we're going to go and look at the source code because I want to show you the password reset. Now I've just gone to the Django source code, so Django contrib auth views, which you'll probably notice is the one that we're importing here with all the views. So this is the actual view that we are using and if we look at the bottom here it says it's going to return a template response, basically means it's going to render a template and in this template it's going to uh, by default it's just a, a generic Django template and what we're going to see is that the template is trying to uh, redirect to the the password reset done view which doesn't exist so let's just define that URL so I'm also going to add another URL here and this regular expression is going to be similar to the one above so it's going to be password reset oh sorry reset password and then forward slash done so just like that and then the view for this is going to be password reset done so like that 
And then the name, because this is actually quite important this time, because the name that we're going to define like this uh, as a string is going to be equal to the one that it's looking for in the template. Now, of course, we could change all of this, but there's really no point because it works, or it's going to work as soon as we implement this URL if we just use that default name. So I'm just going to say password reset done, and then I'm going to, so I'll refresh this, and now we get this form, which, as you saw in the Django source code, this is actually the view that renders this page. So this template that it's rendering here, so you can see by default the template name is registration uh, password reset form. Now we haven't created that template, so it's just using a generic Django template, and that's just what it does by default. And that's fine for now, um, but we can easily override that later if we want to with a completely custom template uh, that we've written ourselves from scratch, perhaps using our base.html, for example. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to keep it simple, and I'm just going to use this one, since it works. So I'm going to enter the email that's on the account, and I'm just going to try and reset the password using this form. So I'll press reset my password, and now, as soon as we submit that form, we get stuck on a password reset confirm. So if we have a look at this error a little bit more closely, we can see that in the template, uh, uh, the Django Contrib admin templates template, this is the password reset email.html. So this is another template that's built into Django for us. And what this template is, is it's the one that renders the email itself for the user to see in their inbox. So when we send that email, they're going to see what is the result of this template. And this line here, which is highlighted in red, this is getting stuck, or yellow I suppose, and then this part is in red where it's actually getting stuck, is the part where it's going to generate the link for the user to be able to click to continue with the password reset process. So this is getting stuck because it needs the next link in the chain for the user to be able to click on to go to the next part, if you like. So in the next video, we're going to look at the password reset confirm view and the password reset complete view. So once we've implemented those two views, we should be able to send an email to the user successfully, have them click the link in that, e that email, and that will allow them to continue with the password reset process and ho hopefully we, we should be able to allow them to reset the password completely and log in with that new password at the end of the next video.